So I think as we look at our world, and the last two years have uh, made it even more, more important, our dependence on cyberspace is bigger than ever. If two years ago, 50-60% of our lives were dependent on the network, cars are connected, smart homes are connected, the entire healthcare system is connected, uh, controlling our uh, infrastructure, utilities, all of that is based on the internet, not to mention telco, banking, manufacturing, uh, and of course our daily life with entertainment of shopping, everything is connected. And again, if two years ago it was 60% of our life, today it's 90% of our life, and even post-COVID, I believe that this dependence will just increase. Now, what does VESA has to do? And it's very, very important to understand that if any one of these elements in our infrastructure gets attacked, if it's not secure, we are not going to be able to keep carrying our life the way we want to carry them. We really, really need to keep it secure. The hackers know that the level of sophistication of attack is just going up. A few years ago in this conference, I spoke about fifth generation or Gen 5 cyber attack. Uh, it sounds like something futuristic. Today, Gen 5 cyber attack is something we experience every day. Attacks on our supply chain, attack that involve ransomware that take down an entire hospital or take down the entire oil pipeline for half of the US. And actually, when we look back at 2021, it was one of the most challenging years in terms of, in terms of cyber attacks. Started with the solar winds attack, one of the most sophisticated Gen 5 attack, and ended with Log4j, which we still have to uh, take care about for, the, for many, many, many more months. Uh, one of the most exploited vulnerabilities ever seen in cyberspace. All of them are sophisticated, multi-vector, Gen 5 attack. And we need to be ready for that, and we need to be ready for whatever comes next. <laughs>